Hello everyone and welcome to this video demo which shows how to bring together multiple F5 platforms and third-party solutions to enable you to identify underlying performance issues in a complex application portfolio before they surface to end users. I'm Kevin Delgadillo, Principal Product Manager at F5 and I'll be providing a high-level introduction to this solution, what it is, what problems it solves, the value that it brings, and the basics of what it does. Daniel Stokes and Michael Kennedy are technical solution architects here at F5 who put this solution together. They've created some demo videos for some specific use cases with more technical details, which we'll walk through a bit later. Adaptive applications utilize an architectural approach that facilitates rapid and often fully automated responses to changing conditions. For example, new cyber attacks, updates to security posture, application performance degradations, or conditions across one or more infrastructure environments. Unlike the current state of many apps today that are labor-intensive to secure, deploy, and manage, adaptive apps are enabled by the collection and analysis of live application performance and security telemetry, security management policies, and advanced analytic techniques such as machine learning and automation tool chains. A key component of our adaptive apps vision is to help our customers maximize application performance and resilience in automation-enabled environments. This demo kit shows how to bring together multiple F5 platforms and third-party telemetry and dashboarding solutions to quickly identify a variety of underlying issues in complex application portfolios in order to trigger and visualize alerts so that F5 customers can identify application performance issues before their customers experience incidents. We show how you can use a single standards-based telemetry solution called OpenTelemetry to generate, gather, export, and collect application performance telemetry data across the F5 product portfolio. In addition, we show how to populate and instrument a Grafana dashboard to provide alerts when application performance issues are seen, which includes server errors, high network latency and response times, as well as high system resource utilization. Specifically, this demo kit demonstrates the following. Using automation to configure Big IP, Nginx, and F5 distributed cloud with telemetry enabled using OpenTelemetry. Generating, exporting, and collecting OpenTelemetry data for each proxy platform. Data population of a pre-existing Grafana dashboard. And dashboard alerting for application performance issues. Note this demo is focused on identifying underlying issues using automation and telemetry as quickly as possible. Automated remediation of such issues is beyond the scope of this demo kit. As our customers deploy complex application portfolios, which comprise both legacy and monolithic and modern microservices-based applications, across a wide variety of deployment scenarios, including on-premise, public cloud, and at the edge, Maximizing visibility into application performance has become critical for optimizing their customer experiences and for driving successful business outcomes. Today's end users have high expectations for application response times and service availability. As a result, being able to identify application performance issues with a single common set of observability tools which provide a myriad of telemetry data, irrespective of the application architecture or deployment scenario, has become a critical business driver. It's no longer acceptable to identify a performance issue after it has become visible externally and impacts customers. Given the competitive nature of today's application landscape, combined with existing high expectations for application response times, it has become crucial to identify and remediate application performance issues before they impact end users. This solution is targeted at improving application performance and resilience a key benefit category for F5's Adaptive Apps vision. So what are we trying to achieve with this solution? Our customers find it cumbersome, time-consuming, and costly to proactively ensure that their mission-critical workloads are operating in an optimized manner. This proves challenging to ensure a consistently high-quality user experience to ensure customer stickiness and repeatable business. Here we demonstrate how customers can succinctly identify underlying infrastructure and application workload problems with the use of open telemetry and F5 technology, allowing them to proactively identify issues before their customers experience incidents. Here's a view of the solution architecture for this demo kit. The product scope of this demo is comprised of the following F5 components. 
F5 Big IP, F5 Container Ingress Services, Nginx Management Suite, Nginx Ingress Controller, and F5 Distributed Cloud. This demo uses example deployments of these products across a wide range of environments including on-prem, public cloud, and edge. In addition, we use both traditional monolithic and modern microservices-based demo application workloads as appropriate for each deployment environment. In order to gather, collect, and export application and infrastructure data, we use OpenTelemetry as a standards-based telemetry solution across all products and deployment environments. Finally, while any data dashboarding, analytics, and alarming solution may be used, we'll use Grafana and Sumo Logic to provide basic data visualization, performance insights, and alerts. For the on-prem Big IP use case, this demo kit does the following. Configures Big IP using F5's Application Services 3 extension, or AS3. Here, AS3 is used to do the following. Set up basic HTTP application services, Set up a telemetry streaming event listener for F5's telemetry streaming extension, or TS. Configure a telemetry streaming log publisher in order to forward data to the event listener. And it deploys an iRule, which captures application performance data to be sent to the log publisher. This iRule also gathers country codes for the traffic using GeoIP data. This enables your dashboards to display location-based round-trip times and server error code responses, thus giving you insight into best location recommendations for your application services. It also deploys F5's telemetry streaming extension to do the following. Sets up a system polar to gather server error response status code data, export application performance data to a telemetry consumer, in this case an open telemetry collector. Finally, this demo forwards data from the open telemetry collector to a Grafana LGTM stack for data visualization and alerting. For the Big IP Container Ingress Services or CIS use case, this demo kit does the following. It leverages our previous Kubernetes focused demo kit to deploy Nginx in AWS Elastic Kubernetes Service or EKS. It deploys Big IP in AWS using a CloudFormation template with F5's cloud failover extension for high availability. It uses a Helm chart to enable CIS within EKS, sets up a F5 Big IP open telemetry exporter, and it sets up Sumo Logic and Grafana application performance monitoring solutions. Here we also use F5's AS3 and TS extensions to set up basic app services, a telemetry event listener, system polar, telemetry streaming log publisher, and export to an open telemetry collector, just as we saw in the previous use case. Finally, this demo forwards data from the open telemetry collector to Grafana and Sumo Logic stacks for data visualization and alerting. It should be noted here that the demo modern application workload, the open telemetry astronomy shop, includes Locust for load generation, Jaeger for tracing, and a built-in feature flags capability to control application failure conditions. All of these tools are included and are used under the covers in this demo. Also note that this and the following two use cases use essentially the same setup and deliver a uniform dashboarding and alerting experience, which is expected given we are tying everything together with OpenTelemetry as a single standards-based telemetry solution across all of F5's proxy platforms and deployment environments. For the Nginx open source software use case, this demo kit follows essentially the same steps used in the previous use case in terms of Nginx deployment within AWS EKS using Helm charts, enabling open telemetry configuration, setting up Sumo Logic and Grafana for data visualization and alarming, setting up a system polar to gather application performance metrics, and ultimately exporting telemetry data from an open telemetry collector to Sumo Logic and Grafana. Finally, for the F5 distributed cloud use case, this demo kit again follows essentially the same steps used in the previous use case as you can see here. Now let's take a look at the demos. As previously stated, the setups and end results for the dashboarding and alerting user experiences are similar for most of our use cases. As a result, our video demos will focus on two of our use cases. 
Big IP on premises, and Nginx in public cloud. Let's take a look at the first use case with Big IP on premises. Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of gathering gathering per application metrics from traditional VM-based applications. In this example, we have an F5 Big IP in front of our virtual machines. And both the Big IP and the traditional applications are sending data to an open telemetry collector. Open telemetry is an open source telemetry standard that is gaining wide adoption with many monitoring tools. In this example, we're using a Grafana stack. However, you should be able to repeat this example with many other tools such as Sumo Logic, Datadog, or Elasticsearch. Now, in this video, we are going to be covering what data we're gathering, why we're gathering that data, as well as how we're actually gathering that data. So first, we will take a look at what data we're gathering. With a big IP in our data path, we have access to a plethora of data. For this video, we're going to keep it simple, but the tools demonstrated in this video will allow you to gather just about anything that you want to gather. So from the big IP, we are gathering the response time from when a request leaves the big IP, goes to our application server, and then returns to the big IP, as well as the status codes coming from those responses. From the application hosts, we are using an open telemetry agent to give us some insight on CPU usage and memory usage. Now, if you're watching this video, I probably do not need to tell you why gathering this data is useful. But let me just go over a quick use case. As mesmerizing as these graphs are to watch, I really don't think you want to be watching them all day just in case something bad happens, especially when we can configure our tool to do that for us. In this case, I have Grafana configured with an alarm that will go off when the status code, the percentage of status code 500 HTTP responses passes a threshold of 10%. And in fact, if we just zoom out on our data here, we can see that that actually occurred earlier today, where there was a problem that caused the number of status code 500 responses to reach nearly 90 percent so the alarm was fired the issue was investigated and then resolved going back to our normal traffic and you can set up many of these alerts across many applications so that you don't need to be looking at these beautiful graphs all day so now let's get into the how on our big ip we have two iControl LX extensions installed. These are telemetry streaming and application services, also known as AS3. First, let's take a look at the telemetry streaming configuration. Telemetry streaming is a declarative API that allows us to gather data from a big IP. And we have two sources of data configured in this declaration. The first is a system polar that is configured to gather the stats off of LTM HTTP profiles every 10 seconds. The second data source is a telemetry streaming event listener. This allows us to forward data to port 6514 on the big IP for telemetry streaming to parse and send out to a telemetry consumer. And the last bit of configuration here is simply setting up the connection between telemetry streaming and our open telemetry collector. Now let's take a look at some AS3 configuration. This 
AS3 declaration allows us to configure several objects on the big IP that we are going to be reusing across multiple applications. For this reason, they are being put in AS3's common tenant to give us that reusability. So the first item here is a base64 encoded iRule. It is encoded to allow it to be more easily sent in a JSON payload. Don't worry, we'll take a look at the actual iRule in just a minute. These other objects are all here to help us get data from that iRule to that telemetry streaming event listener on port 6514. For a deeper look into what these objects are and how they're related to each other, I encourage you to check out the GitHub repository published alongside this video. For now, let's take a look at that iRule I promised. What this iRule is doing is it is looking at the difference in time between when we first see an HTTP request to when we see the response for that request and recording that value. We are doing some light aggregation of that data, allowing us to get the minimum, maximum, and average of that response time. And then preparing it in a very specific format for telemetry streaming. Let's take a bit of a look at this here. So we have key value pairs separated by commas. For telemetry streaming to parse this correctly, we need to make sure that we do not have quotation marks around the keys, but then we must have escaped quotation marks around the values. I've also added in an application tag here based off of the traffic's virtual server to help um, split that data apart per application once it gets to Grafana. And once we have this data string ready, we can use the HSL send command to send this data to a log publisher. And that's going to go through a few hops and then hit that telemetry streaming event listener. Now let's take a look at one final piece of configuration. This is a second AS3 declaration, and it very much resembles the basic HTTP sample declaration available in the AS3 documentation. However, we have two notable differences here. First is that we are attaching that IRL that we were just looking at to the application's virtual server. And then we are creating an HTTP profile per application. And the reason is so that we can use that profile name to, again, split that data per application once it arrives in Grafana. Again, if you're looking for some more information or any of these declarations, I encourage you to check out the GitHub repository published with this video. Thank you. But wait, there's more. Before we publish this video, we made an update to the iRule so that we now gather country codes for the traffic using GeoIP data. So what does that mean for your dashboards? It means your dashboards can now display metrics broken down by country. This allows you to better understand where you can deploy resources to have the best effect on your metrics. Now let's take a look at the second use case with Nginx in public cloud. Here we can see the overall deployment architecture for both on-prem and cloud for this demo stack today. In this video, we will look at the Nginx ingress controller with OTEL annotations deployed within an AWS EKS environment. Now, let's get on with the demo. Now, if we switch over to the IDE, here we can see in the left-hand side the snippet of the Terraform infrastructure as code that we'll be using for this example. So, first we perform a Terraform init. 
This will initialize all the Terraform modules and download the additional required Helm charts and EKS blueprints that will be used as part of this demo stack. So this does take a wee bit of time. So feel free to talk amongst yourselves or visit the restroom or the snack bar if you wish. A few moments later. Now moving over to a terminal window, we can see that the deployment has successfully finished. So let's check for the existence of our pods. If I can actually type the command incorrect. So what I'm using here is the Kubernetes plugin for OMIZSH oh shell. As we can see we have the OTEL demo deployed along with the Datadog agent. Now if we check all our namespaces we can see that the ingress controller has also been deployed as part of this demo stack. Now, inspecting the ingress controller itself, we can see that's been associated with an ELB, ALB. Now, for the annotations and paths of this particular ingress, we shall describe the ingress. And here we can see the paths along with the annotations. Now for the config map itself to demonstrate the open telemetry annotations. So I'll just run a get config map on all namespaces to get the correct naming. So we shall just grab that. and do a config map description. Uh, describe config map for the ingress nginx namespace. If I hyphenate correctly, <laughs> joys of keyboards. Spelling also helps, apparently. So here we can see that the data dog collection host, or the collector host, has been enabled. And this is the data dog operator agent service, which is running within Kubernetes. Here we also have allowed the open telemetry tracing annotations, along with snippets. So as part of this demo, we have also configured the FQDN to allow easy access. So this FQDN is otldemo.f5aatt solutions. So here oh, we can see of course, I'm getting timeout because of security running on the ALB, but there we can see that it is resolving to that which has been defined as per earlier when we got the ingress information. Now, if we transition to a web browser, we can see that the hotel site is available. Now, if we, to create a failure scenario, we will be enabling the feature flag service um, for case recommendations, which will recreate a memory link, memory leak, my apologies, within this particular service. So we shall edit this. 
set it to enable and then switch back to the demo to validate that our site is still working. Now if we step over to Grafana for the metrics, here we can see that there has been failures previously within the recommendation service for memory and CPU usage. We're doing the same we can inspect the spans within Jaeger itself and as we can see we have a high response rate or duration for particular HTTP gets. Around the product catalog along with the recommendation service itself. So here and the actual service instance themselves now to validate this from a platform perspective using the Datadog agent within the Nginx ingress namespace if we scroll through we will be able to also see the same recommendation service errors. Moving across to the Log Explorer itself where we can see the particular logs from this ingress controller there it there's the response codes and of 500s which are being reported now further investigation within OTEL metrics allows us to see the actual Kubernetes pod and controller pod which is producing these errors from here we can see the container usage spike along with the network rate that is associated with this controller all through the use of OTEL metrics which is provided by the Kubernetes Ingress controller and the annotations we configured as part of the infrastructure. Now stepping back to return the system into a true state, uh, normal state we shall edit the feature flag once more, remove this failure, save and then validate our site is still functioning. Thank you for watching this demo video. Please be sure to reference the GitHub repository for documentation and additional details.